Hi, fifth graders. This is Mrs. Lemoyne, and today we will be doing lesson 22 of unit 5, divide whole numbers by 1 tenth and 1 hundredth. So we have been doing multiplication of whole numbers and uh, decimals, and now we've moved on to division. So we're going to divide whole numbers by 1 tenth and 1 hundredth. Okay, so here we are at the warm-up. Find each, the value of each expression mentally. Get my pen out. 1 divided by 1 tenth. Well, I know that if I drew my number block, right, if I drew my square with my 100 squares in them, this is a tenth, right? So if I'm taking this whole thing, which is a 1, and I'm dividing it into tenths, how many tenths would there be? There would be 10. We can use our reasoning with um, multiplying and dividing fractions as well. Remember, a whole number divided by a unit fraction. We can multiply these. If I start with a whole number, I have to end with a whole number. Do you remember that from the first semester? All right, let's look at the next one. 2 divided by 1 tenth. Well, again, I can use either strategy. I can think of 2, right? There would be 10 in this one and 10 in this one. Or I can multiply 2 times 10 is 20. I started with a whole number. I'm going to end with a whole number. Ah, now they give us a decimal. 1 divided by 1 hundredth. Remember that hundredth can still be written as a fraction. And we can think of it over here, right, as I have a hundred of these. So if I'm taking number one and I'm dividing it into a hundred squares, what is my answer going to be, right? How many hundredths are there in one? Well, there's going to be a hundred. And I can still use my fraction to help me, right? One times a hundred is a hundred, and I kept it as a whole number. Okay? Oh, and then two, well... It stands to reason if there are a hundred hundredths in one, they're going to be, oops, sorry about that, boys and girls. There we go. They're going to be 200, dividing two by hundredths. There are twice as many hundredths in two holes. All right, let's see what they ask us about these problems. Oh, they didn't ask us anything. Let's move on then. So we're going to use the same strategy to do all of these. I can think of them as decimals, or I can think of them as fractions, can't I? Or I can draw a picture. You can draw a picture. Your, parent, your teacher can give you some grid paper if you'd like. So 3 divided by 1 tenth. So that means I have three holes, 1, 2, 3. I know that there are 10 tenths in this one. 10 tenths in this one, and 10 tenths in this one. So how many will there be all together? They're going to be 30 tenths, right? 30 tenths. So there are 10 tenths in one, so there are 30 tenths in three. So the answer is going to be 30. And again, I can think of this as a fraction, one tenth. I started with a, a whole number. I'm going to end with a whole number. So now we're going to think of 3, 1, 2, and 3, and we're dividing them into 100. So remember, there's 100 in each one of these now. 100 little squares, right? So how many are there going to be in 3? They're going to be 300. 300. And again, I can think of this decimal as the fraction 1 one hundredth. Again, I can do the same thing here. Think of this as 1 tenth, and that would be 40. Or I could draw it out, right? Same thing for this one, so this would be 400. Do you notice any patterns? I do. Um, when I divide by a tenth, I get 10 times as many. So 30 is 10 times 3, right? When I divide by a hundredth, I get 100 times as many. So that's what I've noticed. Dividing by one hundredth is ten times as much as dividing by one tenth. Those are the patterns that I noticed. Okay, Let's see what else we have to go to do today. All right, 
Let's look at different ways we found the value of the division expressions. How do the different representations show that there are 10 tenths in a whole and 100 hundredths in a whole? So we did talk about that, right? We had our, we drew our square. And I know that that's a tenth and there are going to be 10 of those. And if I did this, that's a hundredth and there would be 100 of those. What patterns do you notice? I notice that I multiply by 100 to find out how many hundredths there are in 3 or 4. Okay, let's move on. All right, a new problem. Now they give us some grids. I like when they give us some grids because then we can draw, right? And you can see it without me drawing that silly square. Describe how you can find the value of any whole number divided by 1 tenth. Use the diagram if it is helpful. Okay, I can multiply the number that I'm dividing by 10 if I'm dividing by 1 tenth, right? So let's say it's 6 divided by 1 tenth, right? So 6 divided by 1 tenth, I would have 6 of these squares, and there's a tenth. So how many would that be? I could also write it like that. That would be 60 because there are 10 of these in here, right? I can multiply the whole number by 10 if I'm dividing by 1 tenth. I can use a diagram to show why there are 10 1 tenths in each whole. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tenths in a whole. So I can also do the same thing with hundredths. Here's my hundredth. And there are 100 of them in this whole. Right? So I could divide any number by a hundredth and just that means I'm going to multiply it by 100 if I'm dividing by a hundredth. And that's why, right? Because each one of these is a hundredth. Each one of these is a tenth. All right. Share with your partner your explanation of how you could find the value of any whole number divided by one tenth, any whole number divided by one hundredth. Take turns being the speaker and the listener. If you are the speaker, share your ideas and writing so far. If you're the listener, ask questions and give feedback to help your partner improve their work. Revise your initial draft based on the feedback you got from your partners. So this is a part where you're sharing out what you've learned and how you think about division because there's several ways you can do this, right? So go ahead and talk to your partners about that and we will move on to the synthesis. Today we divided whole numbers by one-tenth and one-hundredth. Super easy, isn't it? 5 divided by 1 tenth is the same as 5 times 10. And 5 divided by 100 is the same as 5 times 100 because there are 10 tenths in 1 and there are 100 tenths in 100th. Okay. So now we're going to start the cool down. So again, I can think of this as 7 times 1 tenth, right? So how many of those tenths would there be? There would be 70. And this would be 7 times 100. How many hundredths would there be? There would be 700. All right, boys and girls, dividing by 1 tenth and 100 is really super easy. Thank you for joining me on this um, video, and I hope to see you on the next one in Lesson 23. Remember to like and subscribe so that I can continue to make these videos.